Well, 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 it's about that time. Welcome back to the channel, Big Dog Brett. Let's get right to it. So this week's video is about the University of Georgia versus Notre Dame in Athens. And it's no laughing matter. Now, I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm kind of aggravated. Actually, um, I'm kind of annoyed because all I've been seeing is um, a bunch of uh, Notre Dame fans that's, that's been talking a whole bunch of smack about how they're going to come <laughs> come down and invade Athens. No, I don't think so. Y'all couldn't even invade your own stadium, more or less drive all the way down to northern Georgia. And try to take them seats away from these fans? Nope. Ain't happening. Uh, whether or not the game's a blackout, don't matter. Uh, whether or not you bring Ian Book in his A game, don't matter. <clears throat> whether or not you more than double your defensive capabilities against a run, don't matter. See, there's something I've been meaning to tell uh, Mr. Chip Kelly. What? Oh, <laughs> Brad Kelly, you mean Mark Rick 2.0. That's what you mean. That's really what you mean, right? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Mark Rick 2.0. Welcome to the Mark Rick of independent conference football. A guy who cannot win a bowl game when it matters. Cannot be the top 10 team when it matters. I don't care what you do during the regular season. When you have to beat them, when it comes up at the end, you can't do it. You can't even get close. You get blown out. The reason I say Mark Rick is because for all of you Notre Dame fans who don't know this, Mark Rick had the same problem. And then what did Georgia do? Kicked him to the curb and brought in Mr. Kirby Smart. Seems to be working pretty good so far. Now, I, I've heard a lot of a lot of fans talking about their tradition that uh, Notre Dame has. I, what tradition are you talking about? If you're if you're talking about a tradition of losing in important games, hey, I don't want that kind of tradition. But that's what you got. So um, the the other thing that kind of has has um, riled me up, so to speak, is how Brian Kelly gets in an interview and says, well, he's going to see if he can get 22 players together and maybe get them on a plane and, and bring them down here. Listen, don't try to pander and don't try to talk down to the University of Georgia, its players, its coaches, or its fan base. We've earned our, we've earned our place. We're in a conference. We play through it every year. Y'all pick and choose whomever. And when it really matters, when you get fine, when you sneak your way into a college football playoff game, you get blown out. You get embarrassed. I wouldn't even want to show up if I was y'all. And guess what? Your fans have the same exact opinion. That's why they don't show up. That's why when Georgia went to Sanford Stadium North and overloaded your own field, there was nothing you could do about it. There were broadcast on the radio and on Facebook and Twitter saying, please stop selling your tickets to Georgia fans. Hey, y'all might as well be the UCLA of the Independent Conference because they're going to start giving away y'all's tickets to season ticket holders just so y'all can get somebody in your stadium. Now, this Saturday, when you bring yourselves down to Athens, all 22 players of you and Mr. Chip Bryan, Mark Rick Kelly, and you get over there on that sideline and you don't see nothing and hear nothing but the University of Georgia fans and that big red coat marching band pouring all over you. Hey, might be the biggest thing y'all have ever seen. Y'all are not going to know how to handle that. And guess what? This behind kicking 
ain't going to compare, excuse me, uh, this behind kicking is going to blow the other behind kickings you had away at the hands of the University of Georgia. Now, you might say, hey, we're Notre Dame. We got some good ball players. Listen, you Notre Dame fans who stick your, head, stick your heads in the dirt, let me explain something to you. In all of the SEC, and nobody will disagree with this point, the SEC is a better conference than the independent as far as talent-wise goes, up one side the east and down one side the other west. In the SEC East, we have 22 five-star players. Don't forget it because you're going to meet them up close and personal. You guys haven't had an opportunity to see what DeAndre Swift can do in a whole game. Never mind the other five-star running backs that are standing there behind him chomping at the bit to get through. Oh, and did I mention that they stand behind the meanest, the biggest, and the best offensive line in all of college football? And that's not up for debate or dispute or anybody really have opinion about because anybody that knows anything about college football will tell you the same thing. Oh, and in case you didn't know, this is a night game in Athens. Georgia has not lost a home game to a non-conference opponent since 1996. And a big part of that isn't just the team. It's the fans that step in there and make it so loud the ground shakes. You couldn't beat Georgia in your own stadium. You got no prayer in Athens at night. Now, you guys played Jake Fromm two years ago. And you think that's the Jake Fromm you're going to see. But it's not. It's not even close. The Jake Fromm that you saw beat you in his very first college game appearance. Start. He's played on the big stage since then. Played in the Rose Bowl. Played against a much better quarterback and beat him soundly. Now, when I say soundly, uh, nobody believed Jake Fromm could beat Baker Mayfield, but he did. <clears throat> now, when you guys get out there on that field and you start seeing that DeAndre Swift and that Brian Herrien and Zamir White and James Cook and Mr. McIntosh running all over you. Oh, you guys are going to have PTSD, even though most of you wasn't even alive. The fans in the stands are going to have them start having flashbacks to Herschel Walker. They're going to start seeing that red and black screaming all over the field on them. And no, they got a whole lot longer to stand there and let them roll by. Now, you may have think that the defense that you saw before was good. I hate to tell you, gentlemen, the defense has gotten a lot better. Now, if you want my opinion, you can pack up all 22 of y'all, 70. I don't really care. But by the end of this game, if you have any fans there, they're going to skulk away. And your players there are going to hang their heads climb back on that bus and just can't wait to get out of that uniform. Now feel free to jump down in the comment section and tell me all about how good Notre Dame is and how I don't need to be talking this way. Well, I tell you Notre Dame fans, like I tell these Texas fans, like I tell these Florida fans, I didn't start it, but I'm going to help the dogs finish it. Now, you see them young men that they have out there, they can't jump on here on the YouTube and Twitter and social media and hand it to you hot like I will. But I'm going to tell you this. If you want to jump down in the comment section, you think you want to tell me all about how good Notre Dame is, well, that's fine. But be ready for me to hand it right back. Now, I take this game very seriously. You can bet your behind Kirby Smart has done the same. And judging by the banter, that Brian Kelly has thrown out there, don't sound to me like he did. Now, I'll give you one little piece of advice after you come down to Athens. 
and get your teeth kicked in. I want y'all to think long and hard about dragging your sorry team and begging and pleading with somebody to let you into a conference. Because when you play in a conference, you get more than just them mama boys wanting to play on your team. You get grown men. After watching y'all play, undersized, half-sized, mm, we'll say even a few fewer star players, run up the field and down one side on you and your coach couldn't do nothing about it, don't blame the big dog whenever the dogs are turned loose on you. And this time, I ain't going to call them off. So we'll be seeing y'all real soon. Eight o'clock. Don't be late. Oh, and uh, you know the damn fans. If you want to see what some real football players look like, come on down and check out the uh, dog walk. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Go dogs.